Hello all, in this video we will see the Flysky Easy Setup Configuration. This Flysky operates on 2.4 GHz and has got 6 channels. The power source is 4 numbers AA batteries and it has got 2 sticks. The right hand side stick uh, is uh, channel 1, the horizontal movement aileron. The channel 2 is vertical movement elevator. Channel 3 is uh, left stick vertical movement throttle. And channel 4 is rudder, left, uh, left side movement, left right movement. The right stick has got a spring uh, loader operation and the left stick is uh, throttle which should uh, stay when you leave it. This is for a throttle. Apart from these four important channels, there are two auxiliary channels and four switches which is not configured. We can configure in settings. Mode 2 is the most popular settings for Flysky. In this, the throttle is on the left side and the elevator is on the right side. The right hand side stick horizontal movement is channel 1, which is aileron. It is also called roll. It allows tilting of the quadcopter and allows to fly left or right. This is aileron. And the right stick uh, uh, top movement, that is the vertical movement, is elevator. This allows tilting forward or backward and uh, it allow, allows to control pitch this is channel 2 and the left hand side stick uh, the upward movement uh, that is the left hand side stick uh, vertical movement is uh, throttle which allows ascending or descending of the quadcopter which allow, allows the uh, quadcopter to vary the altitude or height this is very important and it is assigned to channel 3 throttle and the channel 4 is the horizontal movement of left stick which is rudder this is also called yaw it allows uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise rotation which helps to change direction of the quadcopter these are the four main channels apart from that we have got two auxiliary channels VRA and VRB potentiometer and these four switches are not yet configured. Now switch on the power. You have to keep the throttle low while switching on the power. Now keep on uh, pressing the OK button to get the menu. There is system menu and setup menu. Go to system menu. First is the model select. There are uh, different models up to 20 models are there. Uh, do not confuse this with a mode mode is different and this model is different you can leave this to uh, default if you don't want to set this is up to personal configuration next is the model name you can provide your own name to the fly sky do not confuse this with mode one this is not mode one this is model printing looks like more mode one and next is the type select here you leave it to air copter as we are not uh, using a helicopter you can leave it to the uh, default airplane or glider and uh, next go to the RX setup and confirm that the AF HDS is on automatic frequency hopping digital system is on and the next PPM PPM should be off we are not using PPM as we are using PWM for the six channels PPM is single channel output it should be off and the next one is the fail safe which is very important go to the fail safe and uh, select channel 3 as we are using throttle to channel 3 fail safe should be on in this channel 3 so when fail safe is on and the quad capter goes out of range it will land safely so for throttle always uh, switch on the fail safe and the other uh, settings we will uh, uh, see in some other video and in the system setup go to the sticks mode to see the movement of the sticks that is in the mode 2 you can see the movement uh, which all channels are allotted you can go to the sticks mode and uh, verify the channel 1 2 channel 3 and 4 next is the display lcd brightness setting under which you can change the brightness of the display and then the firmware version you can che check up the firmware and next is the firmware update under which uh, factory reset is possible under uh, setup menu uh, you can uh, go to the uh, auxiliary channels to assign the switches to 
auxiliary channels so under the functions menu go to aux channels under which the default vra and vrb will be uh, seen you can assign this vra and vrb to the the extra four switches uh, switches but now we will leave it to default and then go to the setup menu display here you, all the six channels uh, are displayed if you move, move the stick that is the right hand stick channel 1 horizontal movement you can see the display movement under channel 1 and the vertical movement of right stick channel 2 left hand side channel 3 the upward downward movement of left stick and then the channel 4 horizontal movement rudder all this you can uh, check under the display thank you for watching